Hey guys, welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a gaming twist. I'm Clifton, and today we're reviewing George Dickel Bottled in Bond 11 Year. So if you saw last year's 2019 release of this product, you know that I really wasn't a fan of it. I just got way too much of that what they call Flintstones Vitamin Funk that is very synonymous with George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey. It was just a little too overwhelming for me. There were some nice, you know buttered popcorn kind of notes and even that's kind of weird so i've heard lots of things about the 2020 release and heard that it's a lot better so i thought i'd pick it up and give you guys a review i know i'm a little late with this one but i just avoided it for so long because i was a little nervous so let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it is and you can definitely tell the 11 year age just by how dark it is i think that's one of the most interesting things about this this is a really old product it's bottled in bond and it's pretty affordable. So I picked this one up, I think it was like 45 to $50 um, in my area. Sometimes it's a bit more, sometimes it's a bit less. Um, but still, for an 11 year old bottled in bond whiskey, that's a pretty incredible deal in itself. Huh, so I, I don't remember exactly how the nose was on the 2019 release. That bottle is long gone, but I will say this nose is actually really, really nice. It does still kind of have some of that like buttery, like brown sugar kind of nose that I got on the last one, but it's really complemented by a lot of vanilla and definitely some oak there with that age. On nose alone, I think this already beats the 2019 edition, but we gotta see how it stands up with taste. Cheers, guys. So it's interesting. It does have a slightly different taste. Again, this isn't your typical Kentucky bourbon. This is a Tennessee whiskey which we know is pretty much just marketing speak, but they do filter this through charcoal. So there is some of that going on. But wow, I'm really impressed by the way that tastes. It tastes different, of course, than what I'm used to. But I'll tell you, as someone that's very, very sensitive to that Flintstone vitamin, minerality, whatever it is that's in Dickel, there's little if none in this glass. It has like a really unique nuttiness. And I think the only like, hint of that is like right on the finish. Now they do use a really high corn mash bill. They use 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% malted barley. So there is a lot of corn in here, but to me it goes almost more of a caramel corn versus, you know, like a buttered popcorn that I think is what I got on last year's release. Now master distiller Nicole Austin did say that this expression is bigger and bolder in character. And I gotta agree with her. There's a certain kind of spice that I'm trying to describe what it is. It's something that I've never got on like a Kentucky bourbon. Almost like a pumpkin pie spice, if that makes sense. It doesn't taste like pumpkin, but it kind of tastes like the spices that you would put in a pumpkin pie. Almost savory in that way. But honestly, I'm really, really digging this. I mean, for the price, again, $45 to $50, 11 years old, bottled and bond. Even if you hated last year's release or you've hated some other George Dickel products, I definitely recommend picking up a bottle of this, giving it another try. I will just say I'm very, very glad I did because I had pretty much written off Dickel and I feel bad saying that, but definitely the best Dickel I've ever had. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Just curious, have you tried this year's expression? Do you like it? How does it compare to last year's? Because I'm really curious. I, I have heard a lot of people say that they like this one so much more. If you're new here, I would absolutely love if you could subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out here on the channel. You can also support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash bourbon bites. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a gaming twist. I'm Clifton, and I'll see you on next video. Cheers.